What's up, everybody? I am back with our contest winner, Matt King. Matt, how you doing today? Hey, man. I'm doing, I'm doing really good. So today is Monday, November 6th. So we've essentially been trading now for about a month. And we, we uh, Matt was traveling last week, and so we weren't able to do a recording late last week, but we ended up closing out one of your positions and that was the forward slash ng which is the nat gas so we closed that out for about 410 bucks just to get everybody up to speed and this is where we're at with everything so we've we've made money on or we're up money or made money on all of our trades so far except the little thorn in our side is the nasdaq so you can see we're we're down on that one and today we are going to be recording some adjustments that we need to make so Matt, let's go ahead and jump in and let's just start with NQ and go to the Analyze tab. Okay, jumping right in, Analyze, and got, uh, I think I've got what you wanted uh, uh, set up already, so. Yeah, correct. So we've got two different positions on in the NASDAQ, and this is, this is the, actually the second one that we, that we put on. And you can see price has breached our upside short strike, which in this case is the call. And so that's, uh, that's when we want to adjust. That's kind of our trigger to adjust. You can either wait till it breaches the short call or the, or the break even point. I prefer once it break, breaches that short call to be a little bit more aggressive uh, or adjust a little bit earlier. And so that's what we will do here. So, Essentially, what we do to mechanically adjust when price breaches our upside short strike, we are going to roll the untested side. So the untested side is the put side. So Matt, if you want to just uncheck that 6280 call box, so we're just looking at the puts. Yeah, uncheck that one. And so what you, what you can see there is that we are, now this is just showing on the graph our, our put side, our 5900 put. And as you can see, that's basically at, at max profit, meaning there's not much juice, there's not much value left in those options. And so it's not doing us any good. If, if NASDAQ were to continue higher, that's not helping us out anymore. So essentially, we want to close that one out and reopen a new put closer to where price currently is. Okay. So what we'll do is, and then the second part of that, Matt, is if you go to the trade tab real quick, what you'll, what you'll see is that these options only have 11 days left to expiration. And just as I teach in our course, how to maximize profits trading options, which is all about short strangles, you know that once price uh, excuse me, once the options get to kind of under that 15 days to expiration, we want to look for a point to roll those to the next expiration cycle. Uh, the, the gamma or the risk starts to accelerate the closer you get to expiration. And so once we kind of get in that last couple weeks of expiration, we really want to just get out of those and, and roll those to the next expiration, which will be in that window, which is that 30 to 60 days in this case, December with 39 days. So not only are we going to roll our puts up closer to price, but we'll roll them out into the next expiration cycle. Make sense? Yeah, it makes good sense, so. Cool, so let's go ahead and go to, go back to the Analyze tab. Okay, back to Analyze. This is the one we're on here. Yep, so essentially what we're going to do is, the first thing we'll do is we will close out those 5,900 puts. So just right click on that highlighted 5,900 put and create closing order. Now we'll probably have to split the difference here. So let's go down to 3.75, see if we can get filled there. Remember on the NASDAQ, we got to do it in 25 cent increments. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we get filled here. And we got filled. Looks like it happened pretty quick there. Yeah, so now essentially we close that out. Now we want to roll that up 
to about the 30 delta, and we want to do that in the next expiration cycle. So if we go back to the trade tab, and we go out, open the option chain in December with 39 days, and let's scroll down to close to where at the money is. And we want to find something around that 30 delta on the put side over on the right. Yeah, on the put side. If you want to scroll up just a little bit more. There you go. Here it looks like. Yeah, so it looks like about the 6170, 6170 put is the one we would we would want. So go ahead and just right click on that on those highlighted strikes there on the 6170. Yeah, back back right up where you were on the put side on the 6170. Go ahead and right click where it's highlighted in blue. Well, yeah, actually, actually, you, or you can click on it like you just did, so that's fine. So, what you'll see there is that you've got we're, we're it's red, so that means you're selling the sixty one seventy put. You can see that okay. in the in the red order bar there. There's two different ways to do it. You could have you could have right clicked on that strike and hit and and said sell single, or you just clicked on the bid, which automatically populated it. So. One step ahead yeah, of me, Matt. Do a double click or something? Uh, you actually just yeah, you just actually have to single click on that specific bid, and that that'll that'll populate it for you. All right, there's another good uh, think or swim course. Yeah. How about? Yep, exactly. Um, so we are we're gonna try to get filled on this, and mid price is is showing fifty six seventy five, but I'd say let's try fifty six fifty. See if we can get filled there. Fifty-six fifty. Correct. There you go. Stop. Let's see what happens. Confirm and send. And we get filled. All right. They're liking us today. <laughs> so now, if we go back to the analyze tab, you can see the two bottom. The two bottom positions there are uh, are December. So those are the two now. Those are the two puts that we last time we adjusted. We we adjusted our other put into December, and now we've got still got two calls that are left in November. So we keep those calls the exact same strike. We don't we don't move those on our losing side on our tested side. But we do want to roll those from November to December. So let's just start with the 6180 and go ahead and right click on that one. That one there? Yep. And go ahead and right click on that one and just create closing order. <laughs> and so we're going to buy this back and we'll probably be able to buy this back for 140.50. Forty fifty. Yeah. Well, actually, probably one. Let's do one forty one twenty five. That's that's probably about where we'll get filled. Okay. So we're just kind of doing a little price discovery here. See if we can get filled there. We may have to go back and adjust it. And we got wow. filled. Like it worked too. We're good today. And so we so so now we closed out that sixty one eighty call. So now we want to reopen it at the exact same strike in December. So you can go to your go to your trade tab. We've already got our December chain open, and we're going to be over on our left hand side on the calls once we get down. And. And actually, we're going to scroll up a little bit because we're looking for the 6180. Yep. So over there on the left, we're going to go. We want to keep it at that exact same strike. We don't want to move that one. So we're going to go ahead and right. Yeah, you can go ahead and right click and sell. Sell a single. Sell a single. And then we'll try to move that up a little bit to maybe the 180, 
try the 185. Maybe the 184.75. Yeah, let's try that. So confirm and send. No, oh, not getting filled there. So this will be the first one we need to adjust. So bring up your little arrow with the line above it down at the bottom of your screen. And yeah, that's the working one. Go ahead and right click on that. <coughs> yeah, so let's kick that down to 184.25. See if we can get filled there. Oh, and look at that. Before you even were able to do it, we got filled at a rather price. So go ahead and X, X out of that on the upper left hand corner. Got it. Do you want me to delete this one then? Uh, you can just leave it. It's it's just sitting there in case we wanted to send the order, but we're not going to. So there's nothing you need to do with that. Okay. But let's go back. Let's go back to the analyze tab now and and check out what that looks like from a visual standpoint. So we've got the uh, the sixty one eighty call in December, and then we want to look at the uh, sixty. 170 put. So just uncheck that one. Yep. It's that one, and then we have a put. And I call these two that are checked. Yep. Yeah. So this is what your what your graph looks like now. We we moved that price closer to uh, price. We we moved the put. We rolled the put up, and we moved it out to December. And so you can see price where that is now. So we're still. We're still looking for a little bit of a down move in NASDAQ to benefit that piece, uh, but we've kind of widened our break-evens and we've, we've got price kind of within our, within our range now. It's a much, much more narrow range, uh, but, it, but we've collected more credit and so now we're still just waiting for a little bit of a retracement, a little bit of a down move in the NASDAQ before we would, would pull that off. And so that'll that'll be kind of what the graph looks like, and then the other one will look fairly similar. And so let's go ahead and and do that one now as well. So you've got that one call left in November, and so let's go ahead and close that one out. And that's that's the sixty two eighty down there. This one here. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and right click and close that order. And let's try to get filled somewhere near near the mid price, maybe sixty five seventy five. Should get filled. Nope. Should get filled here based on how the other prices were. Yep, got filled. Good. Pretty fast. And then we want to, and then we want to do the same thing. So we want to go back to the trade tab. Now, one thing I, I like to do, and this is just kind of a, a personal preference, and that is remember, um, well, never mind. We're we're we want to keep these the same, so um, we're just going to resell the sixty-two eighty call in December. Okay, so we're looking for the sixty-two eighty. Yep. This one here. Correct. And so you can. Want to. Oh. There you go. So you got the sixty-two. Okay, it up down here because I did that click on it thing again. Yep, exactly. Single and. Let's get closer to the mid price, maybe one fifteen seventy-five. Should get filled. Uh, are we seeing? Okay, you're looking right here for the mid price. Yeah, so that's the mid price. That's the theoretical mid price that Thinkorswim gives us. So we're probably going to get filled somewhere between the mid and the natural. Okay. I'll give it a shot and see what happens, I guess. Yeah, confirm and send. <clears throat> All in one, pretty quick, too. And we're filled. So now we've, now we've rolled our position. So we've got our puts. Kind of at that around near the 30 delta area, and we've got our our same calls. If we go back to the analyze tab, what we'll see, 
excuse me, is uh, so we can we can click off. So we've got the uh, we've got the 60 60 put. So go ahead and click on the 60 60 put down below. And we can look at this just as it is right now, and you can see, okay, this is this is both of our positions together. So you can see we've got price is, is right in our right in our range. We could use a little bit of a down movement, down movement and some more contraction and implied volatility to benefit this. And uh, mm -hmm. and then we've and then we can also click off the different pieces to look at them individually but but this is uh we're good so we're all we're rolled out to december we've uh, we've kind of widened our break evens and collected more credit by by selling those those new calls and so we're we're good to go in nasdaq now all right so i know it it, it when you're you're first doing this it looks a little bit funky because your your range is a lot more narrow now but you know if you go to the chart real quick just to look at where price has been in the NASDAQ what you'll see is you know it's just continuing this this big move higher so at some point it's going to pull back um, and and give us a little bit of cyclical downside and and so that's what we're that's what we're looking for we're by, by rolling our calls up we're collecting more credit we're not using any more capital in our account to to keep the trade on and and we're just looking for a little bit of cyc uh, cyclicality in the markets a little bit of a move down a little bit of contraction in implied volatility and then we'll you know potentially look to to manage these now if if the nasdaq continues higher we will we'll do the same thing and and by doing the same thing i mean you know if price continues higher that'll that'll take the value out of our puts so we may have to close our puts out and roll them again closer to price so we just continue that mechanical strategy of rolling our untested side closer to price waiting for price to kind of settle down into a range to collect that collect that theta to collect that time decay and then hopefully book some book some profit there nice i like it so the nasdaq is like i said when we first started the nasdaq is the one that we're down on so the nasdaq owes us some money matt so we'll just continue to <laughs> To, to monitor that and, and uh, manage as necessary. Okay, so now next one we need to, to address is forward slash ZB. So go ahead and click on your ZB there. Okay. So when we put this on, as you can see here, price has, has made a, a move up. It's gone up like seven days in a row here. So it's it's gotten yeah. to a point where it has breached our short short call, very similar to what happened on the NASDAQ. So go ahead and click on your Analyze tab. And if you want to spread that graph out a little bit so it's a little bit more, so it's a little bit bigger. And then drag it over, there you go. So you can see prices is, is just breached. So we could we could do one of two things here. We could we could just leave it because it's just barely breached. It's not past our break even or anything. But and and we could just kind of wait for what might be a potential down move and get out. However, kind of like the last one, we're we're getting to under two weeks of expiration. And in case in this case, we're not quite there yet. So go to your trade tab. And so you can see we're at we're at 18 days to expiration. So this is this is a little bit of a gray area, and you know you and I talked about before. We'll go ahead and make an adjustment, but I'll I'll actually let you make the call on this. We could what we could do is we could wait a few more days until it gets down to 15, 14 days to expiration, and if price makes a down move. We might just get out of this with a little profit without having to roll or adjust, and that's a good option. Or the other option would be we could just go ahead and go ahead and make the adjustment and roll it out to January now. So any any thoughts or preference there? I'll leave this up. I'll leave this one up to you. Yeah, I don't know that there's like a right or wrong to that one, but I, I do know that um, I know there was a lot going on with that last one where we rolled it rolled it out. 
And uh, uh, this one there is less going on, but I would, I'd actually like to just do it, do it again. Okay. And hope you know, just for the competition, and uh, try and get something out of that. Okay, perfect. So go to your, go to your analyze tab. Hang on one second. So we would want to, on our put, is it the, uh, the put side? Correct. Yeah, so go ahead and just, uh, before you before you roll it, go ahead and click off your call. Off my call. Yep. Uncheck the call box. And so, same thing, you can see up on the graph, that we're at max profit basically on that on that put side, so that's not helping us anymore. Uh, you know, we're at 360 out of 390 dollars of max profit on that piece, so it's not helping us. So if, if bonds were to continue higher, that's not going to do any, do us any good. And so by taking that off and rolling that closer to price, that's going to allow us to collect more credit, give us more time to be right, and in this case, we're going to roll out to January to extend our duration on the trade. Exactly. So go so go ahead and right click on that put. Closing order. Yep. And that's doing that funky old school metric thing. And in this case, you see these are really liquid, really tight. So you can see the the, the mid and the natural are, are both at 0 0.02. Which remember on the on the bonds and the notes, these are kind of still you know, legacy state of using fractions instead of decimal points. So that's actually 230 seconds is what that 0 0.02 refers to. And that's where there's kind of a, a double double dash before it. But uh, yeah, we should get we should get filled right here at 0 0.02. So go ahead and confirm and send that. Okay. Looks like it went right through. Went right through. So we're so we're out of that. So now now what I now what I'll what I'd like to do to kind of um, show you just another way of doing this is because we're going to go ahead and and roll the call out to January as well. Let's just go ahead and close out that 154 call as well. Okay, just close both out at the same time. Yep. Closing order by a bit. Um, this one's pretty tight too, so just leave it right there where it's at. Yeah, exactly. Closed out completely. And we're out. So now... Yeah. So when we roll this out, we, when we roll it out, we want to leave it at the same stripes, 148 and 154. Well, remember our, our put was pretty much at max profit, so we were going to roll our put up closer to price. But our tested side, which was the call, we will leave at that 154 level. So now when we go to the trade tab, and this is just showing the December only, so you'll want to go ahead and click on your ZB there. Yep, exactly. And this will give us all the different expiration cycles. So you can see we've got one in January right in our wheelhouse of 46 days to expiration. So, so on the yeah, so on the call side, you want to, if you remember, and this is just kind of you just kind of remember where it was. We were at the 154 call, so we want to keep that one the same. So mm -hmm. in this case, we're just going to resell a strangle, and I'll show you what we do on the put side here. So we want to keep the, the 154 the same on the call side. So just right click, and do sell strangle. The 154 and then the one. Yeah, now on the default of the 153 on the put side. Yeah, defaults to the very next one, but on um, but on our put side, remember we wanted to roll that put up to around the 30 delta. And so in this case, that would be I, I would probably go with the the 29. It's the closest, and we could go up to 38, but that's that's quite a bit closer to the money. So. On the 151, we can just change the put down below to 151. 
And we could have done this all in, in separate transactions. We could have sold the call and then sold the put. But in this case, since we're rolling them both out, it just made sense to do it as a, a strangle because that's essentially what it is. And so we'll go ahead and, and uh, confirm and send that. And you're in. All right. So now if you, now if you go to your Analyze tab, And actually, you're going to click on your ZBH8, which is down on your current account watch list on the left. And that'll give you, give you the one that we're actually in. So there, so there you can see we've got our 151, 154 strangle on. And price is hanging out pretty centered right there in the middle. So we just are looking for some time decay and some time to pass and for price to kind of stay in our range so we can got a little bit more room to the downside than we do the upside because it's it's made you know a decent move up uh so we're looking for a little bit of cyclicality just a little bit more time to pass and hopefully take some take some money out of the bonds that seems like a cleaner way to do it with the um selling it all off on the uh the one that you're not going to use anymore yeah, and we, we could have done that on the NASDAQ, but I just thought I'd show you two different ways. You can do it piece by piece, or you can kind of do it all as, all as one there. So, so you're setting your slices, so what you'll see is that our, our probability is, is less because we are, our range is tighter because we rolled those puts up, but at the same time, we also collected more credit. And if you look at your max profit there, if you hover over the, the flat part, you can see we've got a big max profit of over $1,800. And so we'll look to, uh, we're not gonna wait for a full 50% of max profit because we, we made it a tighter range, but we will, you know, we might book a profit once we get to, you know, five or 600 bucks or something like that. Okay, I'll take it. And then let's go ahead and look at the other two positions that you have on. There's no adjustments or anything needed, but go ahead and click on EEM. Mm -hmm. you can see we got a little bit of profit in EEM, but not enough to take off yet. We're up, uh, yeah, we're up, up about 80 bucks. So just let, letting some time go by there. And we've got plenty of time there. We've got 39 days left to expiration. So we're just gonna let that one sit and marinate. And then, XRT. yeah, same with XRT. So we could use a little bit of a move up in price and a little bit more time to pass for those options to decay a little bit more before we before we book a profit in XRT. Now, um, the other thing I was going to point out to you is that uh, you know we took off a position in natural gas natural gas forward slash NG last week and booked a profit there. If you click on UNG, which is the corresponding ETF, and then you go to the charts, what you'll see is that implied volatility has, has been on the rise. So it's up at that 68 level. So if, if we didn't have any positions on or if we had more free cash, I would say we could go in and re-enter a new position in that gas but we are we're at about we're using about 50% of our buying power and i don't i don't really want to get much above that at this point so in this case once we once we book a profit and you know take take one of our other positions off nat gas assuming iv stays high nat gas will be one that we'll probably come come back to and and try to put a position on but uh, but for today based on the amount of cash that we have uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to put another one on yet. Now, is is that for the purpose of? I know that in the past you've said, you know, we want to keep a little bit of buying power available in case something, you know, takes a, you know, some something starts to, you know, the ID goes up or something on something like. To me, it'd be like, yeah, this sounds like one of those situations. Um, but you just want to kind of keep some keep some money available there. Yeah, well, that that's one reason absolutely that you want to have money available for you know if if there's a big move. But at at the same time, you got to remember we we're, we're using options on futures, so we're very highly leveraged. 
So we, we, we don't want to get over 50 to 60 per, 50 to 60 percent is kind of the maximum amount of our capital that we want to use. We just we don't want to get too over leveraged because then if we get a big move in you know a lot of things at one time, you know we could be having to make adjustments and we could be down pretty big on our account. And I don't want to I don't want to dig that kind of a hole because we've a we've only got a few months to trade, and I don't want to I don't want to put your account down. So we're trying to dig out of a hole. Uh, and not not get you any profit, and then and then second, um, uh, yeah, we're 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 right at that fifty percent of capital usage. So just don't don't really don't really want to go over that due to the amount of leverage that we're using. Okay, I got you. I think I think I understand that. So. Yeah, so we will uh, you know hopefully look to book a, a profit here shortly in one of the others, and if we take off something else, then then we'll. Definitely want to jump into uh, Nat Gas is kind of the highest on the board at this point, so probably jump into Nat Gas if it's uh, if it's still available for us. Sounds good to me. Cool. All right. Well, we will sign off there and check back in here in a few days. Have a good one, Matt. All right, man. Thank you.